Hello and welcome to the all-new Talend Big Data and Machine Learning Sandbox. This new sandbox includes all new use cases that highlight Talent's capabilities with Spark, machine learning, and big data analytics. This web interface acts as a control center for the sandbox environment, providing access to important sandbox resources, including a selection of specific use case scenarios. In this video, I'll take you through how to execute the recommendation engine use case. According to this demo, I have many visitors browsing for their favorite movies within my Talent Movie Database website. I want them to be able to review some personalized movie recommendations based on their selections and how they and other visitors rated the movies. I'll use Talent's machine learning capabilities and implement a recommendation model using a large amount of ratings data from the Movie Lens website. Once my recommendations have been generated, I'll be able to utilize the embedded movie website within this web page to search for a movie and review my personalized list of recommended movies that I'm likely to enjoy. Let's get started. Make sure to have all required third-party libraries downloaded for this process to run smoothly. If any libraries are missing, a pop-up will indicate the missing files at runtime and allow me to download them before executing the job. Let's start with step one. I'll find the first step within the standard folder dropdown within the recommendation engine subfolder. The first step is to initialize the demo environment based on the big data platform I've chosen, which is in this case Cloudera. Specifically, it loads seed data into HDFS and initializes the tables in a Cassandra database for fast data retrieval. Next, I'll need to run step two to train the model on the movie lens ratings data. This process is broken down into four separate subjobs conjoined within the single job for simplicity's sake. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'll run each job individually to show you how the process is broken down. This recommendation engine demo is designed to be ran multiple times, allowing the user to provide additional ratings information to the model for a more personalized list of recommendations. Therefore, some of the steps are designed to include actions to remove previously processing outputs. For instance, step 2A successfully deletes any models previously built in the case I've already ran this process. Step 2B prepares the data to be used for the example feeding the Cassandra tables, and creating necessary files on HDFS. Step 2C trains the model using the Movie Lens database file, containing ratings from thousands of movies, using the alternating least square algorithm, a popular algorithm for collaborative filtering. Step 2D stages the model in a directory that is accessible to the recommendation streaming job, which we will run in a bit. Now that we have our model trained and available, I'll move on to step three, which requires running three separate jobs to enable the web services that are required. Step 3A provides a web service, returning a list of movies per genre from Cassandra whenever the visitor clicks on the genre from the list within the web interface. Step 3B provides a web service designed to capture the ratings data whenever a user gives a movie a new rating. The ratings are then stored in a text file on HDFS. Step 3C establishes a web service that returns the recommendations to the user based on their previous ratings. The last step is to run step four. This is a big data streaming job that reads input data from the Kafka topic and will send real time movie recommendations from a NoSQL database to be displayed to the user via the web interface. With all jobs running, I can head back to my web interface. I'm logged in as the user Charlie Chaplin, who has already pre-rated some movies. So if I search for and select a specific movie from the list, I can view recommendations based on the movies that have already been rated. As Charlie Chaplin continues to rate movies, I would want to keep the recommendation list relevant, considering all new viewing and rating history. Therefore, I would periodically need to retrain the model. I would simply stop the recommendation stream job and execute step six to retrain the model. Once this job is run, I can restart the recommendation stream job and begin to see updated recommendations. In this video, I demonstrated how to use an alternating least squares model 
to provide personalized recommendations to individual users based on a ratings database. Thanks for watching and please continue watching for more information about Talend software.